I moved in the right position to attack. No. Okay, just like you didn't have right now to get to my attack. Okay, you go inside step. Um, you can knee pull. Okay, we're going to use, you can go off the outside tie, the inside tie. Okay, use your fix, use your snaps, uh, use your taps, hesitations, okay, pass lines, underhooks, all your ties, uh, just the, and all your attacks. The whole point of the drill is make sure we move that guy, get him off balance, get him out of position. Okay, the reason we hand fight, two reasons. One, to create an angle. Two, to get him off balance. Both, and we really did well. Okay, so. Yeah. If you've been here, you've seen uh, how we finished with our turf and our cradle. Finish with that. Okay. Okay. So, after start the drill, we move this guy, hit attack all the way to the finish. How hard do you want to uh, Not too hard right now. Just, just gonna be. You know, spaghetti meal. There's nothing to demonstrate. You can go out there and hit any attack you want, but before you hit your attack, you have to move this guy with your tie. You have to move him out of position. That's the focus. Moving this guy out of position, okay? Hands and feet together. Any, any leg attack you want, any shots for right now. So I got it? Okay, good pace here. Ready? It's good 90% to 100% hand fight, but if you get to the leg, you get to finish. Okay. If you get to the leg, we're hand fighting, we're getting here tough. Jay gets to my leg, hit. Oh, he beat me on the hand fight. Now he gets his reward because he gets the finish. Okay? He gets the finish. Now I'm not going to do this. Okay? He, get, he beats me. Okay, I'm not going to be like, ah, oh, he beat me. You just go down for him. Okay? Make him finish. Make him finish. But it's a good hard hand fight. If you get to the leg, you get this guy off balance, you create an angle, pull the trigger, get to your attack. Your reward is you get to finish. Is it one go, the other guy go, or is it both go back? There, yeah, it's not. It's whoever can get to the leg. Okay, hard in, easy out. Hard in, easy out. Okay, hard to the leg. If you get it, you get to finish. Ready? We're going to go into some technique now. Okay, so now that we've done it, we got to tap our hard offense and twist gears and uh, go into some baseline defense. Okay. Um, when, you, when we're doing this, guys, think about it as, as um, call it face line defense. Think about it as counter offense, okay? Really what we're trying to do is attack this guy back. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is um, guys in on a high crotch, okay? The guys are starting in a high crotch, okay? Now, when I sprawl, guys, um, probably, it's like our natural reaction, I guess, but it's, it's probably the same. It's we want to jump our hips up and throw our legs back, back here when we crawl, okay? That's not what I want to do, okay? What I want to do, okay, just think about our bottom work, okay, or just about any time we've ever talked about pressure, okay, what do we do with pressure? Do we meet it or do we retreat from it? Meet it. Meet pressure, okay, attack pressure. Okay, so me driving in on a shot, that's pressure, okay? I got to attack his back, okay? So what I want to do, Okay, so let him attack and I'm going to pick up that foot and it's going to swish it around, just like this. Okay, and I'm trying to drive pretty much where my foot is, that's where I'm trying to place my knee. Okay, right here. Okay, get my knee there. Okay, now, same time, I'm driving off this foot, my hips are coming in. Okay, and I'm redirecting with this arm, here. Okay, hips in, chest up, don't want to lean over a guy. Not very heavy here. Not very strong. Pull my chest up, my hips in. Okay, right here. So we're just going to start one guy's in. Okay, picking up my foot, I'm swishing around, trying to cut this angle. Okay, he wants to get on his angle and finish me. I want to get on my angle, finish him. Okay, picking up my foot and swisher, I'm driving my knee straight into the mat, and my hips are coming into him, guys, into him. Driving off my foot, redirecting the shot, backhand. Encouraging, helping that head down to the mat, right here. Boom. Okay, just set your hands right here. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, he's gonna come back up. Okay. Boom. Come back up. Boom. Okay. Three and three. Knock out a bunch of reps each guy, each side. Do I got it? Ready? We're 
turning, boom, our hips are coming in, redirecting, heads going to the mat, and then, I don't know why this always happens, but we end up with our knees on the mat and our feet in the air, okay? Do I have any drive here? No. Our toes gotta stay in the mat, right here, because when we go to our finish, guys, I'm on my knees for just a split second, okay? I'm coming here, and I'm gonna get my hips in full, okay? Got to have those toes. My feet never come in the air, guys. Boom, this one's driving, this one comes up, and once it plants, when I get to that angle, it's running, okay? So redirecting, shove, uh, jamming the head, okay? Driving off my foot, hips come in, here. Okay, I'm on my knees anymore. Nope, setting the hook here, okay? Setting the hook here, okay? You can attack the ankle, attack the hamstring, come straight up the butt. Hey, that's all good stuff. We just don't want to start coming over here with this far hip and leaning over the guy, okay? You can even catch this far angle if you can. Okay, just don't lean over. Chest up, hips engaged, okay? Run through them, okay? Every time, we run through them. So it's coming in, jamming the head, redirecting, swisher, driving the knee down, and the hips in. Here. Bounce up on our toes, set our hooks. Busy feet, run through them, okay? Can you cradle that? Huh? Can you cradle uh, yeah. That? yeah, you can cradle finish there, absolutely. Can you do what we're doing the private? Yeah. Um, I'll just go ahead and get out, get out in front of this one, okay? A common mistake that I see in another one, guys, is um, diving, okay? Diving here. My legs get straight, okay? What if Jay's real tough, okay? My legs get straight, he doesn't go down. Just shuffle. I'm in trouble now. Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, you guys ever seen a lineman push a sled in football? Okay? The hips are always under him. What are their feet always doing? Move, move, move. It's the same thing, guys. It's the same thing for that red cross, too. My hips are always engaged and my feet are always chopping to that ref cause too. And then, you know, right there I can turn. Okay, does so everybody got it? So he's starting in all the way to our go behind. Ready? What's up, Tom? Kept that up pretty good. Okay, so now I'll just show you a few, few more details. Looks like our pressure is looking pretty good. Okay, so uh, we can even start going for the shot now. Okay, so as he's coming on the shot, Okay, ideally, we want to get our down block in there. Go ahead. Okay, with our head and hands. Okay, but if he gets past our hands, he beats our head, hands, defense, first line. Okay, then as he's coming in, okay, I'm going to slower. I'm redirecting. That's what this redirect was. He's past my hands, it's redirecting. My hips come in. Okay, see that? And we're meeting this pressure. Okay, so uh, comes in. Okay, we're meeting, jamming, boom, I'm up on my feet. I got my hook set. Okay, but this time when I drive, okay, I'm gonna drive him down. Uh, Jay's gonna get tough. He's gonna lock on that leg. This happens. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna do two things here. Look for my cross face. His head starts coming up and drive that head down, but he can still be tough. A lot of times what they're looking to do, belly out, get their hips away. Okay, it's time to build. Okay. So with this back hook, guys, I'm always tight on it back up. So when I drive him down, guys, I'm going, I'm shooting this elbow deep. When I drive, it shoots elbow deep. Okay, and I'm keeping this pitch. Okay, good. Now, we can start looking for our cradle finishes here. Okay, or this guy's, um, his head comes up, I'm always going to drive that head down. Okay, and we can look to hook. Okay. Once we hook, drop your hip, hold on, be tough. Okay. Start ripping this up right here. Cross face the mom. Okay. He really wants to hold on. You know. We always got ready. Okay. Once I hook, this should be two. Good rest are gonna call this two. Okay. But if they don't, look to your cradles. Look to break that grip. Okay. So again, we're gonna be good partners. Okay. We'll just start right here. We're gonna be tough. We drive them down. We're trying to hold on. Trying to get our hips away. Okay, he's trying to get his hips away, but I'm going to keep this tight, okay? 
Looking to drive his head down, elevate his legs. Hook, look for your cradles. Look to break the lock. Okay? Does everybody got it? To wrestle those tough guys, we gotta make sure we secure that takedown. Even if to too far fall. Ready? Sure, I'm going, starting to go through a few of the details of when the guy starts to get tough on the The most important thing is our pressure. Okay, and then this is just a couple ways to finish off. So this time he comes in, okay, jamming the head, uh, redirecting, getting our hips engaged. Okay, we go to set our hooks, okay, and they do what Jay's doing. They're stepping up because they're looking to drive their head up and step to the corner, okay, and get back in to his angle where he can score this, okay? So if I'm getting on this angle, okay, and he starts stepping up, okay, I'm not going to be able to drive him to his far hip here, okay? I can run. I can't get through that, okay? So I'm attacking the ankle, pulling this up, okay? Keep this pressure into him, guys. Don't let it up. Keep good pressure into him. Pull the ankle up, hook it, okay? Now we're bringing our knee up the butt. My pressure comes forward, okay? And I start to score my points there, okay? So this is pretty common. This will happen a lot when a high crotch, when we turn the angle on them, okay? And we can them, and they step up. Okay. Attack the ankle. Attack the ankle, okay? I can't sit back off of this. If I create any space, he's gonna take that space. I'm in trouble. Okay, when I attack the ankle, I'm keeping pressure into him. Okay? I'm gonna hook it. Okay, and then I'm coming forward. Is everybody got it? Okay, let's try it. Ready? Angle leg, heads on the inside. Okay? Um, so again, first thing we're doing, okay, is we gotta get the head down, we're picking the foot up, and we're swishering as we move to the angle, okay? Same thing as the high crotch. He's in on the high crotch, getting the high crotch, okay? Picking my foot up, I'm swishering. This foot, okay, the leg he's attacking, that one's coming up, driving my knee down, and then I use my other leg as I, uh, to drive into him and take my angle, okay? Same thing on a single leg, okay? I'm jamming the head. Picking this foot up, swisher, driving my knee, probably about trying to really drive it where that foot is. Okay, my hips are going down and in, not so much back. Okay, and I'm and I'm covering the head with my hips. Okay, a lot of people think he's attacking this leg. I want to get that hip in. Okay, but really I'm giving him this angle that he wants. Okay, I want to get my other hip in when he's on a single leg, head in the inside. Okay, so jamming the head, picking the foot up, knees coming around. Okay, my hips are coming in. Here. Good. Now, and that's set my hook. Okay. First, we got to get that down. Okay. Personally, I always jam with my back hand. Okay. You can come here. Um, the reason I do that is when the guy beats my head, come up. Okay. Because usually when it's down, like beats my head, my hands over my head, then I'm bringing that back hand in and just jamming him on the way in, chasing it in. So when we start in, um, you know, play with it, see if you like coming here, or just like to give them the club right here, okay? So clubbing, same thing guys, foot's coming up, swisher and driving our knee down, chest up, hips in, here, okay? Uh, knees wide, hips engaged, okay, looking for our aim. Okay, that's all we're doing, coming back up. Oh. Get my sternum on that shoulder blade. That's what I'm looking for. So a lot of times you'll end up real high. If you do that, just jam, adjust, and then you're back ready to press off your knees. Everybody got it? A bunch of times. Three, three. Both, uh, both guys, both sides. Ready? Jam in the head, driving, uh, driving the knee to the mat, our hips into his shoulder, swishing the foot around as we get to the angle. We're stepping to the angle. Okay. So once my knee hits the mat, I'm stepping the angle. I'll come off my knees. Okay. Ideally, I want my sternum in this shoulder blade. I set my hook. I set my hook. Okay. And I'm following them back. Okay. Get a big chest, like you know, you're at the beach on spring break, trying to impress some girls or something. Okay. Turn around. Okay. Big chest. Big chest. Okay. Hips are loaded up, and we're alignment on a sled again. Okay. Remember that. Choppy feet. Choppy feet. Pull those hooks. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You'll hear that moan right there? Okay, because there's a lot of pressure right here, okay? Squeeze the air out of the lungs. 
when you get this pressure right. Okay, so from the top, it's coming in. We're jamming, swisher, knee drop, step to the angle. Okay, set the hooks, hips loaded up. I'm coming off my knees, choppy feet. Pull these hooks. Okay, pull, pull. Get him to his hip. Go behind. Does everybody got it? Same thing as before, we're just on a different angle because he's on a single angle. Let's try it. Ready? Set, my hips loaded. I'm ready to go. Okay, one thing that we see is, um, I'll turn this one, is guys kind of stay on their knees and try to, try to dip this guy with their arms. Okay, Jay's nice. He fell over for me. It's not going to happen when this guy's trying to score a shot. Okay, and the other thing, uh, so, guys, I'm running with my feet. My pressure's going right back at this angle that I'm on. Okay? Right back towards this hip. That's where I'm trying to put him. Put him on this far hip. This angle right here. Boom. Okay, heavy. Trying to see if, see if I can make Jay one with the mat, you know? I'm trying to put him in the mat. Jay, I thought you were tougher than that. Let's try it again. Make sure we're driving through them without pressure. Not trying to use our arms. Use your body, use your hips, strongest part of your body. Ready? We're gonna try to flop on their belly and push their legs away. Push them away, push them away. Good, and then start building their base, okay? So once I get into this hip, this hook shoots elbow deep. I'm keeping this tight, okay? And now I'll start looking for what I got up here, okay? Jay's gonna hold his head real tight to the leg. Okay, squeeze it tight, good. Now, there's no space for my traditional cradle, right? Because he's holding it too tight. Whenever they do that, that elbow always comes in. That's how they keep it so tight. See all this space here? Okay, that's what I did my, what I call my body cradle. Okay, so this is elbow deep behind the knee. I'm shooting this elbow deep at the armpit. I lock my hand. Okay, finger lock right here. Okay, now, I'm going to pull this lock into my chest at the same time pushing my chest into Jay as hard as I can. Kind of push him through the mat. Okay, and I straighten the leg that he has. Here. Relax, too. Okay. Once I break the lock, back knee scoops the ankle. Okay? Now I start. There's my takedown. You guys can even start with your Okay? So, he's in on the leg. Stuff the head, step to my angle. Jam right away. I'm locking this down. Okay? And Jay's being tough, okay, he's squeezing real tight, he's locking back here, coming in the armpit, locking my hand, pulling my lock to my own chest, trying to pull it through his chest, and I'm trying to push my chest to my lock at the same time, and I kick my leg back. Here, oh. scoop, here, look here, cover here, okay, good. I'll go ahead and show you both. This time... He not, uh, he's not holding the leg as tight, okay? He's not holding the leg as tight, maybe flat, okay, right here, okay? Now there's not going to be space here, there's going to be space here. Pay attention, buddy. Open those up. There you go, okay? Leg's not as tight, you go in traditional to cradle right here. Got your hands locked, okay? Boom. Slip the shoulder, drive the knee. There's my cradle, okay? So if there's holding it real tight, go into the armpit. You got some space, additional cradle. So if I got it, great. I'm just kind of push forward in our base. We're just kind of opening up. And I'm opening up his back side. I'm going to swing my far side boot in. And I'm going to hook his leg. So some guys got a double tie prime. But the goal is to get weight on his hands. I like splitting them. So I'm jamming forward, driving on my toes. Legs and legs and knees are in tight. I'm going to swing my far side boot in here. And I'm hooking around this foot. Okay? Got a great vine in my leg. And then my elbow immediately digs into his far armpit. So I've swung my leg in and hooked. Elbows in his armpit. And I'm hooking right up under with my free leg and his laces. This is our cross body ride. Okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go out, but it's gonna be real quick. Just get your leg in. So I'm jamming, swinging, far leg in, elbows digging into the armpit, and then I'm anchoring right here. Or 
you can come down and grab his laces and post your foot in the mat, whatever you're comfortable with. You can anchor here or you can pull up on his laces. Has everybody got it? So I'm swinging far side. I'm either double thigh pride or I'm jamming them forward. Elbow hands jamming forward, belly button hands jamming in the crotch. Questions? Go! How's going? This will be real quick. Some stuff. I can't ride cross body like this. Okay? All right, if he jams back into us, then we'll correct and post our foot. And right now, I'm almost like I'm hanging. Okay, I'm almost like I'm just hanging across his back. So I saw cross body ride. A lot of guys ride different leg rides, like short leg ride right here when I'm in line. Okay, it's kind of parallel. Cross body, I'm perpendicular. I'm across his body, so I'm hanging. I'm not necessarily hanging my head down, but I'm hanging. So either stirrup or laces. We've been doing a lot of laces here now. Now to break the guy down, I'm going to attack at his wrist. Attack at his wrist, reinforce, and then I'm just driving him forward, driving him down flat. Okay? Now, as I'm driving him down flat, here, as I'm driving him down flat here, once I get to the mat, I'm going to swing my bar in. So I'm attacking. Once I hit the mat, free hand, pull the bar up on his back, pull his elbow up on his back, Free hand punches through the hole. Free hand punches through the hole. Back up. I'm attacking here, driving forward, hand comes up to reinforce. As I pull the elbow to the body, I pull it back towards his ribs. Elbows on top, free hand punches through. Now I got my bar. Now, my cross body leg stays in. I'm wrapping here, down to his, I'm trying to get as deep as I can, but I'm wrapping to his, right here to his lat, and this is lat, trap. what is this called? It's a lat. Trap. Trap, that's what it is. I failed biology. All right, so as I drive, and I get, get to this point, once he's on top, the hand that was on the trap comes up to my half, and we're stopping right here. Stopping right here. Coming up to our head, trap on, and we're gonna freeze right here. So I'm going to have my bar and my half. So jam, swing, boot in, cross body, tack the laces down to the wrist. Hand comes up to reinforce, drive them down flat. I snatch this elbow up, punch my bar deep. As this arm falls, I'm driving with my feet. Driving with my feet here. Once I get on top, Half comes in, bar stays tight, and I'm coming up into my tripod. Still have a tight bar, still have my half in. We're gonna stop right there. All right, a guy wants to hide his hand and wing down, I'd always catch his wrist. Um, and I'd get a lot of, a lot of uh, tilts from here and you run around the guy's head, but you kind of end up in a wacky position. So a lot of times you'll end up, as soon as you get that bar, and you're trying to get up under here to your claw to, to roll him through, he'll be real tight but he'll be fighting his hand down so he can't get all the way across. His wrist will be there and we'll go straight to a rebar tilt from there. Um, so we're using our cross body as kind of a setup to get to, a, get to another turn, but that's, that's what makes us good wrestlers is transition from one thing to the next. The boot comes in, I get to my cross body, I'm nice and tight, I'm attacking forward, I get that bar and I start getting it deep and he fights it down real hard. I can't really get, but he's kind of stretching me out because he's pulling me over the top so my arm can't get under. I'm just going to reach down and grab his wrist right here, okay? I'm going to reach down and grab his wrist. The harder he fights down, the shorter it makes me on the backside, if that makes sense. Don't fight. If he's not fighting and I can get a good pull with my bar, I can get deep. But if he fights down real hard and I can't get deep with my claw, I'm just going to reach down and grab his wrist because I know it's there. Now, all I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drive my feet. I'm going to go straight into a, a tilt, just like we did a cross wrist tilt or near wrist tilt. Same thing, I got my brake foot, got my tilt foot, super kicking, and everything's nice and tight with my elbows. Get an easy five count there. So if a guy starts winging down real hard before we can get our claw, just grab his wrist, rebar tilt. We're tilting him to the side, away from the bar. Same thing we did on a roll through. So I jam, cross body. I'm going to get this roll through half. Roll through half, can't get it. Wrist is there. I'm just gonna drive, 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 drive. Pitch my feet, roll them up. I'm driving as much as I need to. 
out of my girl five. But that guy wants to be clever, and, or maybe he's just real strong. Maybe he's just some diesel up dude. And as soon as we get that bar and he clamps down like and we're a little shallow, grab his wrist, we'll still get a, still get a full Why count. Why are you laughing, Noah? Questions? Go! I can't run my bars like this, guys. It would be great if we could run our bars like this. We'd pin everybody, but it's illegal. So we have got, as hard as we work to get our pinning holds, we got to work just as hard to, number one, secure them, but two, secure them legally. So when I see hands sliding up here or we're real shallow, I didn't talk about how deep my bar needed to be. We're elbow deep on the, on the, on the knee on our cradles. Anytime I can get elbow on an elbow or elbow on a knee, that's a good thing. So make sure when you get that bar, elbow cinched, and it's locked down nice and tight. Now, it still doesn't mean Jay's not going to be able to fight down and give me the easiest rebar tilt in the history of Earth. But if I'm way up here, the ref's going to stop it. A lot of refs get real scary in that cross-body position because it's easy to rip some guy's arm out of socket. So bottom guy, give him a good feel. Top guy, when we get that opening, that bar comes in and it stays. It's elbow to elbow, straight across the back, and it's tight. Then when he fights down, it's an easy rebar tilt. So once you get your bar, I want you to really start getting to it quick. So I know what I'm going to if this guy fights and I'm fighting down and I get it up here. I got this party start to fight it down. Easy points. Once I get my bar and I get his wrist, I know I'm getting my points. Okay? Nobody said it's going to be I mean, a little bit of a dog fight to get that bar in, but once I get it in, I secure it. Then when he fights down, I get his wrist, his lights out. Easy. I'm just seeing the swipes come. All right? Make sure that bar straight across the back, tight, secure. He fights down, get the wrist, easy five count. What's up? Um, when you're doing that, after you get him on his arm and shoulder, on the legs, would it be, would it, would it all be easier if he's trying to force you to your back? Would it be easier to switch your leg out? Um, when I get a guy in a tilt, whether it's a cross wrist tilt or a rebar tilt, I gotta constantly be adjusting. I always want my bottom knee to the ceiling and my top leg, we call it super kicking. It's not here, it's kicking towards his head. So even if he fights into me, if he fights into me, I pull his wrist. If he fights away, I punch the bar to the mat. So really, as long as I'm adjusting, Jay, go crazy. He looked funny, Jay. Just let him look funny. I can watch him do that all day, all right? As that, big as strong as you are, you get somebody there, it's an easy five count. That might be a highlight video yeah, right there. Yeah, you get somebody there just take a nap and then rep will wake you up after. That's going viral on YouTube right there, Jay. Jay Fish. 1.5 million views. What's up?